big story this morning. Everyone is talking about the alarming spread of the coronavirus. The positivity rate in our state continues to go up. It is now at a record 21 and a half percent. 301 more people are in the hospital fighting that virus since Thursday for a total now of more than 1,450. Now, doctors say hospitals still have the capacity, though, to take in more patients for now. And 23,000 more people have tested positive for COVID-19. Yeah, that's why more people are lining up around the state to get their hands on those at-home COVID testing kits. Just check out these long lines that we're seeing. They're all across the state, but this is from yesterday at Dodd Stadium in Norwich. Some people waited more than an hour and a half here. More cities are giving out testing kits today. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne and we'll have more on that live from New Britain in just a few minutes. But first, we start with Channel 3's Marcy Jones, who's live in Hartford, where a school there is closed because of COVID. So Marcy, what can you tell us? Good morning, Wendell and Caitlin. That's absolutely right. We are out in front of Prince Tech here in Hartford. They just opened the gates, but no students are going to be coming in or out. That's because no classes are being held today, and they are not the only school in the area that this is affecting. The list continues to grow of schools in different cities and towns unable to hold classes due to a shortage of bus drivers. A number of bus drivers across the state have called out sick recently, and school officials are bracing themselves for more callouts. Torrington and Stonington Public Schools will be closed today. Several bus routes for Emmett O'Brien Technical High School will not be running for the rest of the week, and Shelton School District will have a two hour delay. Bus companies tell us just one callout can have a major impact. This shortage um, has hit us all in, in different districts. So you have some where maybe you're you're not suffering a lot of, of, of people being out um, and, and some locations where there could be 25 to 40 percent of the, the driving group that's that's out. And um, so, you know, each day that's going to change a little bit. Some of these bus companies are scrambling, trying to reroute their already complicated routes to accommodate more students. They're doing the best they can. So they say right now, patience is the name of the game. And as we know, this is all a trickle down effect. And lots of folks are trying to get those at home COVID testing kits 